Turning now to global climate news, the World Resources Institute released a study today that shows 25 countries consistently use 80 percent of their water supply every year and are at risk. Samantha Kuzma is the data lead for the water program at the World Resources Institute and the main author of the study. She joins us now from Washington. Samantha, thanks for being with us. Help us make sense of what you found in your research. What are the key takeaways? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Our research is designed to help us understand on a global level how water stress is impacting us. And, and water stress is simply the ratio of how much water we have and how much water we're using. And we see that across the world, in all geographies and all economies, we are using more water than we have. You know, I'd imagine people hear that and think, okay, so what exactly does that mean? Where does that lead us? Yeah, in a practical sense, right, that, that means in a, a dry year, which we're seeing more and more of, there's gonna be a lot less water to help meet our needs. And we're gonna see an increase in that competition over the water resources. Yeah, and when so there's Oh, so Sorry, Samantha, but your study mentions water stress around the world could well get very much worse. Um, how do you, how serious of a problem do you think it could be? Can you put that in perspective for us? Yeah, in a, a place like the Middle East and North Africa, by 2050, we're picturing 100% of the population in that region being exposed to water stress. We anticipate a, an additional 1 billion people exposed to water stress by 2050 around the world. So, you know, not only is this an ongoing crisis, without intervention, it will be even worse in the future. Yeah, what comes to mind is that we can't really live without water. I mean, everybody's going to need it. For countries that are not under water stress, such as ours, what does this study mean for us? Yeah, so, you know, we, we do provide country rankings of water stress, but if we look more internally into countries like Canada and like the United States, you do see water stress locations. In the United States, for example, the Colorado River Basin is, is one of the highest stressed places in the world. Um, and so this, this study is relevant to, to even the uh, countries that don't rank high on overall water stress. So clearly there are problems. They're scattered in different places. Can we talk about some solutions? Are there solutions here? Yeah. I, I think that's the optimistic note here is that in the water community, we, we tend to say that we actually have the solutions to this crisis. What's missing is the political will and the investment. So we need to see governments, national governments, and governments at all scale scaling up investment in sustainable water management plans, scaling up investment in water infrastructure, especially infrastructure that helps us use less water to accomplish our goals. Um, so there's a lot we can do. We just need to start acting on that. Yeah, that preservation would be valuable. Samantha, thanks so much for talking to us about this. We appreciate it. That was Samantha Kuzma. She's the lead author of this study, and we reached her in Washington, D.C.